What's this organization been working on over the last two weeks since you last played a game? Well, I think it was a good chance for, for our players and our, and our coaches to, to exhale a little bit, you know, take stock of what we had done well over the course, you know, the first part of the season. Some of the guys that have been nicked up a little bit, give those guys a chance to heal and really focus on getting back to, to you know, what we did well previously and emphasize that going into uh, December football. Okay, take that a step further. What does this team need to do better down the stretch? Well, I think first and foremost is take care of the football. We've had a stretch here where, you know, we haven't done such a, a good job of that. You know, we've, we've that's been a point of emphasis for us all season, but getting back to taking care of the football offensively and conversely creating some turnovers defensively to try to steal an extra possession here and there. All right, offensive question and defensive question. Offense first. You rushed for 270 yards in your last game. Can you build on that? Yeah, I think we can, Mike. You know, both Dontrell and Foreman, you know, they've had, you know, good individual performances for us here over the last stretch. But even looking back at some of those runs, you know, the lines block well, the tight ends and receivers have all made, you know, good blocks to spring those guys. But there's always a block here or a block there where you could just do a little bit more to maybe pop another run, you know, a second run. So I think there's things in there that we can continue to build on. Defensive question, how do you reignite a pass rush that has been outstanding for the majority of this season. I think it's getting back to the details. You know, it's it's hard to line up against these offensive linemen in the National Football League, you know, one on one and just beat them down after down. They're too big, they're too long. Uh, you've got to focus on the technique, you've got to focus on the details of the rush, of the rush games, you know, the pick, how you're going to come around off of that. So just focusing on the technique, you know, individually and when we run those rush games. You saw Jacksonville in week five. So it will have been nine weeks since you last played them. Have they changed in that time? Well, they've played some good football. You know, the record may not may, may not show that, but you know, they're in the top half of the league running the football. You know, Lawrence still is an explosive player. Chenault is extremely dangerous with the football in his hands. Marvin Jones is a big target for those guys. You know, and defensively, they're sending a lot of pressure. They're one of the top pressure teams in the league, and they got some good players on that side of the ball too. Allen's having a good year for them up front. Miles Jack is year in and year out one of the top backers in the league. And Jenkins, a free agent that they picked up in the offseason, has been around the football a lot in the secondary. All right, I want to back up to this past Tuesday. You and I got to be part of something really special. The Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Awards got to hand them out at Nissan Stadium. For you, as a guy who played football in this state, it's got to be extra special to be involved with the Mr. Football Awards. It is, Mike. You know, it's just such a special day for the players, the coaches that coach these young men, the parents. You know, they've got a lot to be proud of. I know their schools are proud. Uh, of their performance, their teammates are proud of them. So for you know, for us as an organization, and and me particularly, you know, having played here, it was just a special day for us to enjoy with them.